wonderful Capricorns and all the cross watchers, welcome to my channel. This is your December love reading. Please note that this is a general reading, so it won't resonate with every single Capricorn out there. Take what resonates and leave the rest, Capricorns. If you would like um, a personal reading, all the information is in the description box below. And as well as all the information about the channel is also in the description box below. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents what's happening to you. So all these three um, make up who you are, Capricorns. Um, I have put, I will put a, a, a link in the description box below, um, a link that you can go into to find out what your um, your uh, moon signs and your rising signs are. Alright, um, so as you can see I have already laid out the cards, um, we will be doing a bit of a shuffle later for the clarifying cards. Okay, so the first card we've got for you Capricorn is probably one of the best cards in the Moonology deck and um, it's the Blue Moon. So as we all know what, you know, the Blue Moon, once in a Blue Moon, so something is really um, going to be an amazing something's going to be amazing for you in the month of December um, it's, it's just one of those things where a rare chance you know you're gonna have a very rare chance Kathy so it's either you you get this is a love reading so you could probably meet someone um, that you would never have thought that you you know that you've been thinking about but you never thought it was gonna happen so it, you know it's once in a blue moon so don't miss out on those chances Kathy Oh, I feel excited when I when I you know when I picked up that card. All right, and then for in the animal spirit deck we've got the dolphin, which is also one of the best cards to have in a reading um, in the animal spirit deck. You know, the dolphin is um it's it brings you know healing and you know there's just light and blessings as you can see. You know, I've just shown you the picture, but. All the rainbow colors around that swirls around the dolphin it's just like love and light and you know everything is just um, so calm and, and, and very healing about this card you know maybe it's um, it's it's a thing that you you know it's it's guidance for you to do some inner work uh, Kathy's I know that December is always a very busy month um, you know with Christmas going around and so you Although, it, you know, it is a peaceful month as well, so we do find more uh, solace time where maybe we can just, you know, go within, do some meditation, which is which will be very good for you, good for your soul, Capis. And also, you know, this it's the same as this blue moon, there's definitely, definitely something coming up for you, like a profound blessing, you know, is on its way to you, Capis, in December. It's just, I can just feel it's... Just an amazing, um, I mean, you've got both these, both these blessing cards. Wonderful. Okay, so and then we have um, Forgiveness from the Journey, the Brandon Bay's um, deck. And um, the forgive, what she says is forgiveness is the key to true healing. And maybe this is where, you know, where, where this... Um, this comes in. Maybe there's something that you haven't forgiven, Kathy's, and um, once you've forgiven, you know, the healing will come in for you. And, um, you know, we all need to forgive. Uh, we can't keep the, you know, unforgiveness inside because what happens is it, it you know, it sits in your body and it, and it uh, causes illness in your body. So the best thing to do is to forgive um, whatever the situation is. You need to forgive the person you don't have to forgive the actions and therefore um you know you 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 don't you could just forgive the person and then you can walk on forgiveness is the key to true healing when we forgive we let go of our blame games and our stories of hurt and judgment and let grace flow freely into that area of our lives flooding our flooding our beings and healing our bodies check inside 
is there something you regret doing or are you judging your are you judging in yourself Cappies? or are you withholding com complete forgiveness from someone in your life your lack of forgiveness only hurts you it's time to empty out all the stored hurt and pain it's time to let out all the judgments Forgiveness will flood naturally into, em, into the emptiness that remains. Forgive with all your heart, unconditionally. You'll find yourself resting in ease, embraced in, embraced in a healing grace. And this is where this card, um, the dolphin card is coming in, Cappies. Healing work needs to be done. So do that healing and forgiveness. Because you'll find, you know, most of the time that we get ill, um, and you know Louise Hayes as well, um, another um, healing um, link that you can go into is um, Louise Hay, you can heal your life. And it basically tells you um, like every, everything that happens, you know, like every medical illness that you have, what it means in your, what, what it actually means and why you've got it. So there's always a meaning to something that goes wrong in your bodies. And I will um, get to that a bit later with the with with the um, crystal. So then we have um, from the from the angel oracle decks retreat. And um, I think you know in this year you will know what you, because Capricorns are generally very I know very um, hard working and they're very meticulous in whatever they do. And I think this year, um, Capricorn, besides, you know, with all what's going around the world, you've been really, really pushing yourself and pushing yourself really, really hard. And basically what they're saying is it's time to take a break. You know, um, you, you need a much, there's a much needed rest needed now in December. So take that time out for yourselves, Capricorns. Don't uh, burn yourself out. Go within, do the forgiveness. Um, and just relax now in this uh, at this uh, Christmas um, month. You really, 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 I'm getting that, recharge. You need to recharge those batteries, Capricorn. You know, just also, you know, as I said, uh, just, you know, take the time out, reflect, you know, reflect on how far you've come and and what your true feelings and desires are, you know, what do you, what do you want for 2021? Um, and then you got the card, um, Archangel Uriel. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. You know what to do. You know what to do, Capis. Trust in yourself and your inner knowledge and act upon without delay. So as I've said, you know that you need to take this, this break and you know that you need to forgive whoever this uh, person or people are in your life and um, do that healing work, go within, do that healing work and believe in the impossible. And here's another, another card from the angel. So all three cards are basically, well, these two are both the same, almost the same thing. So Layla, another card from the angel oracle depths. Spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. Capis, important for you to take, um, to, to retreat this um, December. Just take some time out for yourself before the rat race next year again. Very, imp very um, strong message there. Retreat. Take time out. All right, so let's get on to the tarot cards. So we have for you, and oh wow, three uh, major arcanas. We have the strength card, the magician, and the empress in reverse. And to me, the Empress in Reverse is exactly saying, you've worked really, really hard in, in 2020 and that it's time for a break. Because normally the Empress, when she's in the upright, you know, she's, she's relaxed, she's got everything she needs, but in the, in, the, in the Reverse, she needs a break. Time out. Time out is needed, Cappies. 
Um, and, you know, w with a strength card, you, I, I just feel like you've had a lot of strength in this in 2020. And even in the in previous years, um, you know, you've just, you've just, you've just moved on and you've, 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 you've kept up the stamina, um, Capricorns. And, um, you know, just with this card, you'll, you know, you, you will be shining through December. So, um, for you cappies, single cappies, this is a perfect time to, uh, to go out and meet people. Um, in December, but still, you still need to take your break and uh, recharge your batteries before any of that can happen. Otherwise, you're just going to burn yourself out, Cappies, and there's, uh, we don't want that, do we? This could also mean, um, you know, the strength card, it's you, your partner or your, your love interest. You know, they could have a, quite a, um, a wild side to them. And... Um, this is how you're feeling about them and you just need to try you you basically are wanting needing to tame the beast in them because you know you're you need you need some time out retreat to retreat and they obviously just want to go out and 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 you know do lots of things in december and you just wanting to retreat and relax um so that could also be it um otherwise singles you could be meeting someone that's um you know, that's got a wild side to them. Okay. It all sounds so positive, I must say. And with a magician, um, this is saying if you are in a relationship, uh, Cappies, then, um, you know, you're, you're, the relationship's definitely going to move to a deeper level where you, you know, you can, you can expect strong, a stronger commitment and happiness. Your partner's going to be very serious about you, especially with this card coming out, and you actually are very serious about your partner. Because this is this these cards are, are, are your energies, your energies for your love interest, and then this is this, these cards are for your love interest. So you are feeling um, that your partner is quite serious about you, or, and or you vice versa, feeling very serious about your partner, and you definitely want a deeper commitment here. But you know, um, as I said with the Empress in Reverse, we need to do, take a rest and take a break. Don't rush into things, um, Cappies. You not you generally aren't um, uh, signs that, uh, uh, you're not a sign that actually, um, because you know, you Earth, you tend to move a bit slower, which is the best thing to do. Okay. Um, so once again with this Magician, Singles, also, it's these both these cards are um, a good sign for you to get out this month and um, go and go get out and meet new people. It's a, it's going to be a good a good month to um, to meet those the, the, that potential partner. But with the Empress, take some rest first, Cappies, because this Empress is, is in reverse. So we want to get it. We want to flip it over to to upright, where you nice, where you relaxed, and there's you don't have a worry in the world. Okay, I'm just going to do some clarifying cards. Swords is conflict. So, with a, a terrifying strength card, so you you're gonna go through a bit of conflict in the begin in the beginning of December, um, Capricorns, and but you're gonna have the strength to get through it. So, um, in in the, the, try not to let any of that get to you, uh, Capricorns. Just um, just don't have, you know, just try and avoid the conflict because you really need to get into a, a quiet space for yourself in December. But this is the, the beginning of the month and in actual fact, it, I, I, I have a feeling it's already happened. That you've had a bit of conflict and you're going to get out of it and um, 
things are going to change up for you. Okay, one more to come out. Yes, so this Ten of Swords. So there's quite a bit of air here. Um, you, if you, might, you may be dealing with an air sign or someone that's got air in their chart. Um, Capnies. So the Ten of Swords is also, it's, it's basically the worst is over now. Whatever conflict you, ha conflict you had, um, you've had the strength. And basically, um, this is clarifying the Magician card. So I don't think that you um, overreacted, which is, which, is, which is a great thing. And um, the Ten of Swords is basically telling you the worst is now over, Capricorn. And yes, absolutely, it needs to be over because it is Christmas month and we don't want any conflict. But you know, it, it happens, um, you know, when we're all around our families and... There always tends to be, not always, but, you know, there tends to be a bit of conflict here and there with, you know, jealousy and sibling rivalries. So just don't take these to heart because I think also everyone's, you know, going through a bit of struggles, especially with what's going on in the world. And, um, you know, we just need to forgive and um, just find that compassion, Kathy. And because, uh, you know, the, the people that are that are in conflict with themselves, you've just got to, because you know, those are the people that are actually going through some trouble in their life and they just need some compassion. And um, so just don't, over, what I'm saying is, is don't overreact. Just walk away if you need to. Okay, there you go. Queen of Cups, you see? There you go. So the Queen of Cups is... Um, Clarifying the Empress in reverse. And the Queen of Cups is, you know, it's uh, there's your cup of love. And it's, it's exactly what I've just said to you now. Um, you need to just forgive. And um, as hard as sometimes it can be, it's going to be uh, best for you um, to forgive. And, um, you know, give your, your, your cup of love, your cup of compassion. And... Um, everything can turn around you know we can turn the empress to the upright instead of it being in the in in the uh, reverse position but it doesn't look too bad um the worst is over whatever conflict you went through you've had the strength with the strength card and um just go just retreat and um you know spend some time alone okay please you need that just to recharge your batteries because the problem is if you don't recharge your batteries what happens we get to this five of swords because we've got you know it's we don't have the energy and so we what do we do we you know we, we, we send the wrong energy out so rather just take your time out get out get away from the things and go on a little bit of a, a holiday if you can just to take some time out It'll be good for your soul. All right. Um, so for your partner's energy, we have um, Queen of Cups. Wow. Tweak, uh, Queen of Cups twice. So there's definitely love in this relationship. If you're in a relationship or not, there is love this month for you guys. Two queens. Two queens of Queen of Cups. And Queen of Cups is, you know, they're offering you a cup of love, um, very kind-hearted, and it's not, it's not gender-specific, so it could be male or female, for that matter. Um, and then we had the Six of Wands, which is victory. So basically, your uh, partner love interest is offering, you know, is offering you this cup of love. And that 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 got victory in that because you are you are also offering your cup of love, and um, as you can see, you know when they when they're like that, they're actually looking at each other. Um, there you go. So they're both looking at each other with their cups of love, which is wonderful, Cappies. So there is a lot of love to to be shared in the month of December. Just. Um, you know, don't get involved in this conflict if it hasn't happened already. But as I, but as I said, you know, by the middle of the month, it will be over. It'll, the worst will be over. And by the end of the month, 
we still have this cup of love and um, it'll all blow over. You know, this, a storm never lasts forever, Kathy's. So just remember that. So the six of wands, they're feeling victory because they, they you know, you've, you, you have also have a cup of love to offer. And um, with the two of pentacles um, in reverse, they, um, you know, they don't feel, they, they, there's no need to, you know, they're not um, weighing up anymore. They're not, they're not deciding anymore. They're now, they've decided that you are the, the partner. And that's, that's what I feel. Um, you know, they have victory. They've, they've got you by their side and um, there's, they don't have to choose anymore or, or think about things anymore because they know that you're the one. You're the one, Cappies. That's wonderful. Okay, let me just get some clarifying cards just for some extra guidance. Clarifying card for the Queen of Cups, please. Clarifying card Queen of Cups, please. So it looks great. It's just, um, you know, the guidance from the angels is just take that time out. And that's what I'm picking up. That's very important. Go within and do some healing work, um, some spiritual work. We all need to do that, Cappies. And December's actually a good time when we are on holiday. Sorry. Too many cards. Too many cards. There we go. So, there you go. The Six of Swords um, in reverse. Uh, okay, so there was a bit of, um, there's been a bit of baggage that um, was carried on from a previous relationship or from a previous partner or there is baggage at the moment um, in actual fact to me I just feel that there was baggage the baggage is this is this is the the conflict and the problem they have moved on from it already but um, there is still some but they're still giving you that cup of love and this is from their previous this is not um, with you, Cappies, but they are still carrying a bit of baggage and that needs to be worked on because, you know, that can always cause conflict. So that needs to be healed. All the baggage and the, and the trauma from the past relationship needs to be healed on your partner's side. This is their energy, so, but... As I always say, it can be vice versa. So just take what resonates with you and, and what doesn't. Because as you know, like, you know, this, if, if the Six of Swords was in, in the upright, um, uh, you know, it's basically moving on. And um, But when it's in reverse, they're still hanging on to some, some sort of baggage and they need to let, let it go. So they're going to have to do some healing work your partner but they still do and i think maybe you know if you if you're not going if you don't have a partner then um Kathy's, you need to um get rid of baggage before you move on to a new partner otherwise the same thing's going to roll over all over again wow so why are we getting all these reverse cards i actually think these these uh, clarifying cards in reverse are um Oh, 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 it's already happened and I think this is where the conflict came in because with the sun the, you know the sun, the sun is in reverse and um, what I'm picking up is um, there's no problem in, in your relationship but um, in their previous relationship this is what they've had so that you know this it, it, you know things got really dark and um, you know with the sun in reverse and you know they haven't let go your partner hasn't let go they've got victory with you absolutely they have victory with you and i think maybe you picked up on that you've picked up on their on you know on the thing you know baggage that they that they're holding on from the past from the previous relationship and this is where the conflict came in um so and if this is you cross watcher 
If this uh, partner side is you, then you need to do that healing work. Otherwise, you're going to continuously have um, a conflict in this um, beautiful, it seems like it is a beautiful relationship because you both have love for each other, as I said, with the, with the, with the Queen of Cups. And, um, you know, it's just, there's like, gosh, I don't know why there's all this. Okay, okay. So there you go. All right, so there's another a reverse, which is the, so we have the, the Six of Swords in reverse, the Sun in the reverse, and the Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay, so the Knight of Wands in reverse to me, um, you know, they, they've they got this scattered energy at the moment, and... Um, which they need to see it's all this energy from the past this is past this is a past relationship that they've had and they're carrying the baggage and they that that energy needs to be um dealt with because as i said you, you know what you can't move on to a new relationship if you're still carrying the baggage yes absolutely there's love for you they have victory with you um but you picking up on their you know on their um you know they not i'm, I'm not uh, they you know they are, it's like almost like a depression but not i wouldn't say it's that as bad as getting depression but they're not happy they're still not happy um about something and they're bringing it into your relationship and it's going to cause more conflict as i said if it's not healed so they need to do some healing work and um, heal the past from a past relationship. Otherwise, you, they're just going to bring it back into the relationship. And if this is you, Cappies, if, if, if the energies are reversed, which I don't feel they are, um, then it means the same thing. Then you need the healing. And this is where all these guidance cards are coming in. Healing. Healing is important. Because, um, you know, this relationship, um, to me, I think, is... Um, is is a once in a blue moon relationship so if you want you know don't lose out on this beautiful relationship because of past baggage that has been that's been hanged on to um, move on from it but heal it first Whew, okay um, so the crystal uh, gemstone that um, the angels chose for you for um, December is the pink carnelian and this gemstone is full of life force the carnelian this is a pink carnelian oops um, as I said full of life force and vitality it stimulates the metabolism heals lower back problems uh, rheumatism arthritis um, and depression as well so you know if your love interest is going through a bit of a you know a, a space where they you know they're not feeling good about the baggage and maybe get them a small um, gemstone a carnelian, pink carnelian and you know let them put them in, in their pocket or their bag or you know somewhere on their body to help them with that to help calm them down um, because this also, you know, for both of you, um, you know, it's not it's not nice for either one of the partners to go through, you know, when their partner's still holding baggage from a previous relationship. It's you know, you it's hard to to deal with that kind of thing. But um, we need to just have that compassion and just help each other if that's if this is a relationship that you want. And for me, I think that this is a once you know once in a blue moon relationship. So um, it's worth, really worth holding on to because this, um, you know, this uh, gemstone is going to help uh, to restore the love and the trust after, you know, um, this whole situation. So um, this is definitely appropriate for this, this gemstone is appropriate for this reading. The angels are always spot on with everything. Um, 
and all these cards, uh, guidance cards also for the situation here. Uh, take the guidance. I'm going to, as I said, uh, put all a lot of information in the description box below. So please have a look. Don't miss that part. Um, Cappies. Okay, Cappies. Um, it was lovely to do your reading. I um, wish you all a very Merry Christmas and um, lots of love and light to you all. Um, I'll connect again in January. Bye for now.